is an extra special day here on LBV TV because we are at the new grand opening of the DVC rooms at the Grand Floridian. And what makes these rooms extra special, not just how beautiful you're gonna see what they are, the Mary Poppins theme, not, not even that, but what makes these rooms extra special is that you're gonna see what the new remodeling of the Grand Floridian is gonna look like to come based on the lobby here, the rooms, and more. And I think you're gonna be in for a pleasant surprise. Let me know in the comments after you watch what you think of the decor, the new design, the lobby, the views, and everything. And are you excited for the remodeling of the Grand Floridian or not? I'll be honest, when I first heard about this, I, I was, you know, I don't like change. I love the grandiosity of the Grand Floridian. I thought, you know, how much better can they do? But let me tell you, when you see this, you're gonna be like, wow, okay, they can, they can go grander. And they did. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already for never a dull moment here on LBV TV and many more vlogs and live streams and other cool things to come in the most magical places on earth. The room is Mary Poppins themed. I wore my Alice in Wonderland vest where Alice also makes quite the appearances all over this hotel too. Have you seen the awesome pool? But again, wait till you see all the details that make this room extra grand. And before we continue the tour, a big thank you to one of our LBV club members here, one of our awesome friends, Endy Carey, who gifted us her stay that she couldn't come here and make it in time. Uh, I am in awe and honored. Endy Carey, guys, lots of love in the comments for her. This is extra special. We've never stayed at the Grand Floridian. I've only seen sneak peeks of the other rooms. So this is extra special for me, producer Ashlyn and Chris. Um, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Most vlogs start with like the bathroom and stuff. No, no, no. I want to show you again why this is one of the most luxurious rooms now on property. Again, Mary Poppins theme from the artwork here. I mean, how gorgeous is this? Type in the comments, what is your favorite Mary Poppins moment from the films? And you'll be entered to win a shirt from shoplbv.com like the one I'm wearing. And again, how beautiful is this view? Absolutely majestic. Of course, over there you have the wedding chapel. At night, it lights up. And then the views of the Polynesian. Absolutely stunning. Also, the balcony is huge. I love the fact that it's so spacious. You can come sit out here day or night. Absolutely beautiful. It is so serene in this section. Other than the waterfall over there, I hear nothing but the boats. And speaking of Alice in Wonderland, right over there is the famous pool with the Mad Hatter's uh, slide and fun. And then of course the main buildings are over on the other side, but everything is quick and easy to walk through. Oh, I see the monorail over there, how cool. Wow, what a beautiful view. Is that Epcot behind it? Is that Epcot? That is incredible. And I love even the little details I thought of, of brushed gold, it's not like gold gold, it's not tacky. Look at the beautiful beds and they're raised. So heads up, if you have a health issue, the bedroom does have raised beds. So you should tell when you're coming to visit, hey, I can't do a raised bed. Now you may be asking, okay, what is a raised bed, Maria? I bet nobody on any other vlogs thinking of these details. I do. So as someone who's had so many surgeries, it used to be I couldn't climb into beds easily. My mom, same thing with having a broken hip and all of that. So these are high beds. I don't know if you can tell, but it comes up to my waist. So if you do have somebody who's on the shorter end or has um, a disability, these are raised beds. Um, the raised beds, of course, give a more grand look, which is great. But if you have a disability movement wise, hips, things of that sort, this might not be the bed for you. Just make sure to let Disney know so that you can uh, get a bed low enough to be able to just hop on in. I think, again, most importantly, look, at the end of the day, these rooms are beautiful, but are you really in the rooms? You know, so I think a good bed is important. All right, let's test this out. Still my favorite, and Ashton knows this, is the cabin beds at Fort Wilderness. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, yeah. And I've, I, I'm always uncomfortable in like every bed. I'm the most picky person when it comes to beds to the point I have brought mattress pads with me to hotels. <laughs> yeah, I'm that girl. Um, this, is, this is an awesome bed. Amazing. Okay, it's up there with Fort Wilderness, but 
I gotta say Phil Orland still takes the cake for the best bed I've ever felt. I also love the details in here. Back to the details. This is possibly my favorite. These are all birds in the chandelier. But of course, in Mary Poppins fashion, there is a penguin. One penguin right there. How cute is a truly a jolly holiday in this room. They really put the holiday in all of it, I'm telling you. And wait till you see the rest. The lamp even reminds me of our Jolly Holiday shirt at Shop LBV. Um, again, it's just subtle. I love the subtlety. It's not Mary Poppins in your face. You know, uh, it is the beautiful umbrella. Ooh, see the winds taking it. It's kite time. It's kite time. Love this. How stunning. And again, super simplistic. If I were to put this in our own home, nobody would guess it's Mary Poppins per se if you weren't a Disney fan. But I mean, even the details, again, same thing that you saw on the lamps or on the pillows. Now I'm just like thinking in the back of my head, can I do this to our home? Probably not. I don't have, I'm, I'm so bad when it comes to decorating, but this is phenomenal. The molding too, um, like all of it, absolutely beautiful. And again, uh, Citrico's was remodeled, Mary Poppins theme, and a lot of the colors in there also remind me of that. Even this is in Citrico's. Again, not overtly, Mary Poppins, but here's something that is. Look how cute this is. Oh, I love it. Again, an homage to the family. How awesome is that? Oh, that's so cool. And oh, I see her umbrella. Hold on, check this out. Oh, I love it. And then up top, you can see it more in its larger format. It's almost like an MC Escher painting or a, is it called a war shack? You know, where they ask you as a psychiatrist or whatever, do you, what do you see? Do, what do you see? I see Mary Poppins. So much popping. So much popping going on. I love the penguins. I love this whole design. I'm not gonna lie, I really want to make a dress with just that. <laughs> Everything's so beautiful. And then if you come over here, amazing. Is this, is this wallpaper? It is, it, almost, it looks hand painted. I wasn't sure. You never know with Disney. They go all out sometimes. Um, and what's this? Oh, it's a hair dryer, but it's a very lovely box. I was like, oh, there's gonna be something cool in there. Hair dryer. <laughs> but again, Disney came up with great spatial reasoning. You know, again, didn't even see this. You easily pull it out. Say you wanna just grab some food. You don't wanna sit over there. Maybe there's more family in the room. Um, say you wanna do your makeup. Say you wanna get all gussied up. I gotta say, this is the most stylish way to do your makeup ever. I feel like a princess. I'm pretty sure, do you think Mary Poppins had a whole setup like this? I don't know. This is, this is like princess style. All the gorgeous fixtures, the brushed gold, the, the marble. And then speaking of sitting areas, again, this easily, we have me, Chris, and Ashlyn here tonight, but this easily could fit um, a family of four, five even, because um, this pulls out. So there you go. Chris, Maria, Ashlyn. Now, this pulls out, but say you don't want it to pull out, again, an awesome uh, sofa, hang out, grab food, beautiful view. They really, really thought well how to make this room as useful as possible, as well as beautifully aesthetic. As I was mentioning earlier, these are high, but producer Ashlyn, being producer Ashlyn, was like, Maria, the reason why is so that you can put your luggage underneath and then that way it doesn't show, it keeps the room fancy and clean. And I noticed the same thing going on over here, where again, it's a very lifted uh, dresser drawer. That makes a lot of sense. Speaking of dresser drawers and closets, I'm not gonna lie, Ashlyn, I didn't even realize this was a closet. <laughs> this is beautiful. Holy moly. Does it keep going? What? Does this just keep going and going? Is that doing? Okay, never mind. Well, nonetheless, <laughs> I was like, you know, this could fit a whole family's wardrobe definitely for a long trip, 100%. You know, even these, the beautiful crystals as um, light fixtures, again, by the bedside for reading and to have spotlights. This is amazing. Now, the bathroom. I don't know about you guys. Again, I don't like those vlogs when they start with the bathroom. I'm like, come on, get to the good stuff. But the bathroom is also the good stuff because check this out. What? I know. Amazing. Amazing. How gorgeous. That is, I'm just going to say this lighting makes me look way better than I actually look. So, yeah. But, again, stunning from 
a mirror being a piece of art in here to the devil sinks. I love it. Of course, again, gorgeous art here. Um, very reminiscent of the Dolly uh, artwork compilation, The Circus. I love that. So neat. But again, it is Mary Poppins. And then an homage to Walt Disney's very good friend, Salvador Dali. And then, of course, bathrooms. That's important. You got to have lots of space. Because nowadays, the Disney bathrooms don't have space. Or just bathroom all renewed. So again, it looks contemporary. Um, and then very spacious bathroom. Look, at the end of the day, you want some privacy too. I get it, especially me. Ashley's gonna be appreciative of this. Damn. And even the hallways are stunning. I mean, look at the wallpaper and the sconces. This is Michael Aram. It, let's just say Google the price of these things. Super expensive. Um, I only know this because somebody for their wedding uh, had it on their registry and I was like, who is this Michael Aram? Oh my, and you'll see a lot of his work and his pieces around the building. Um, so stunning. And again, the, the murals, the art, so pretty. Well, even the carpet's stunning. It's like a garden. Like, oh my gosh, I totally matched the floor. Look, I usually wouldn't lay on the floor, but it's a new building, so we're okay. <laughs> Never a dull moment here on OVB TV. <laughs> but how many times, Ashlyn, am I going to get to match the floor of a Disney of a Disney place. That's pretty cool. I kind of so bad we want to lay on the floor because he's like, what is wrong with you? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Again, it's new. It means like hardly anybody's walked on this, but me and Ashlyn and Chris, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, Ashlyn. I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's a new carpet. It's okay. Oh, it's awesome. <gasps> That's right. Ashlyn just made a good point. She goes, I'm the first to ever lay on this floor. Yes. Probably not the last. <laughs> Watch me start a trend, guys. Wow, the chandelier is beautiful. It looks like a bird cage. How cool is that? Hello, oh, hi everybody, thank oh. you. Oh, so beautiful, everybody's so friendly. Again, this is the opening day, officially opening day. Again, big thank you to Carrie from our LBB family. This is so special. Wait again until you see the lobby up close. I started with, with the room, but again, every detail is magnificent. Like I said earlier, I was really concerned about the renovations they were gonna do at the Grand Floridian. They kept saying, oh, it's gonna be contemporary. I don't find this contemporary. I still think it is grand, but with a more modern flair. So you still have that old vintage vibe, but with the amenities and the quality and luxury of something of this century. Now remember guys, this is gonna be potentially what the lobby's gonna look like in the main building at the Grand Floridian. I think it's amazing. I mean, how gorgeous. Again, it is still that old world style, but just updated. Um, it doesn't look like it was literally from the 1800s. It just looks like it was inspired by those older decades we love. And again, I think based on what you see behind me, I think we're in for a great treat for what the Grand Floridian Lobby update. I don't think we're gonna see a big major change, just like color palette, little things updated in a minuscule but beautiful way that again brings it to our century, like I said. How gorgeous. Again, let me know in the comments what do you guys think? Do you think the Grand Floridian Lobby with a little bit of this aesthetic is gonna be awesome? And then again, another great thing about this building is check this out. Of course, more beautiful, beautiful spots of this lobby, the wallpaper. All of the incredible details, the sconces, and then this. Ta-da! How gorgeous! Oh, it's beautiful! But be careful. Be careful. This looks like there could be animals out here. But again, what a gorgeous spot. Now, our room has the same view, but again, I love the light that comes through from one side to the other. Just heavenly here, heavenly. Oh, and look who I found in the bushes. Oh, hey, it's gosh. Sarah Marindale. <laughs> What's up? Oh my God, what are you it's doing Sarah here? You know, here for opening day, building Amazing. night. Really exciting. It's now, so pretty in there. You guys know she's one of our best, awesome friends, uh, me and Ashley, for many, many years. I know, she is so, so sweet. <laughs> Go check out her Instagram, Sarah Arendale. She is, and I'll put her link here in the description. She's amazing. And you may remember the time she ran from 
a T Rex. Oh yeah, our during Jurassic Halloween. World. <laughs> during Halloween at Fort Wilderness, never a dull moment. Okay, so what do you think of everything you've seen? It's beautiful. I, I love the color palette in here. It's just like, it's really subtle and refined, which I think the main lobby yeah. was missing a little bit with its yeah. like more outdated feel. It's still beautiful, but okay. this building is stunning. The roofs are so pretty. I love know. it. I, know, I, I was worried. I told Ashlyn, I was like, I don't know how I feel about them remodeling one of my favorite lobbies, but mm -hmm. seeing this, it's just instead of like a mauve carpet, it might have now more like lilacs and a little bit more brighter hues. That's still again just it doesn't look like it faded due to light, you know, issue. You know when they yeah. say like don't put your stuff out in the sunlight because it gets that's what it looks like. It looks like everything faded in the Grand Floridian. And so now you're just gonna get a uh, a little lift. How beautiful. Like I would totally hang out there. I'm just saying. This does feel super grand. It's like have you guys seen the Gilded Age show on HBO? It's like a Downton Abbey, but earlier century, 1920s. I feel that, I feel that. I like this, I like this. How gorgeous. And then the Michael Aram. My mom will be very proud I remember it. It's beautiful. I feel like we need some tea. Ashton, I need a hat and I need tea. Tea and hat. You guys, look at the amazing artwork. Again, from the film, I love these scenes. And if you haven't already, make sure to type into the comments uh, what your favorite part of the Mary Poppins films are. It could be, you know, the new one even. Let us know and you'll be entered to win a shirt from Shop LVV. And now I'm gonna take you to the main Grand Floridian lobby so we can compare. So again, now you have it in your head what this looked like. And you're about to see, all right, that's what the original looks like and how those little details changing, what you think it'll affect again. I think it's just gonna brighten it. Let's see. We're entering the Grand Floridian lobby. As you can see the wallpaper, it's just good old you know, up and down stripes and not much again. Everything is a little bit dull. Let's say you look at the carpet here. Again, just the colors are a little bit more muted. So I think we're just gonna see everything a little bit brightened up. But nothing's really that crazy different other than the brightening um, you know you still have the florals but instead of it looking like my grandma's 70 year old couch I know she has it's gonna look like a fancy couch see what I'm saying but they still have the birds and stuff I mean if you look at the pillows over here birds birds <laughs> birds there I mean they're keeping the birds like the Mary Pop you know Mary Poppins feed the birds be the birds. Instead of kind of these muted designs or uh, granite is what is used in some area, you're going to see lighter more. And it's just to be lighter, but still the same vibe, still that same uh, beautiful look. I think I think we're going to be okay. Like I said, guys, I was nervous, but I think we're going to be okay. Let me know again in the comments. What do you think about the change? Would you like to see it with that little bit of updated renovation now that you know what the DVC lobby looks like in the rooms. So we're taking you now to Citrico's because that is again updated with the Mary Poppins being able to see more of those colors. But as you can tell, this looks really old. You know, I never really realized it um, from the wooden banisters to the dark, you know, faded green carpets. We have a good camera that captures colors really well, but still, you know, as I'm looking at this in person, I'm like, oh, I see. I see it is a little bit new. So again, this is Citrico's. Victoria and Albert is about to open. How exciting is that in urban? And so we came to take you to Citrico's. And I was like, what in the world? Um, it is closed. Wednesday through Saturday it's only open. What does that mean? Uh, Citrico's is a fantastic restaurant. Please go there. I don't want it to close. But yeah, you can tell by the carpet. Again, there it's gold that are, you know. Oh, there's a hidden Mickey. Look at the Mickey. Oh, how cute. I'm sure they'll continue to keep that vibe still. Um, but again, like I said, I think I think we're gonna be okay with those renovations. And in the Enchanted Rose, too, they added all these updates. Again, I think slowly bringing in those old world vibes, but with a contemporary spin. It's still beautiful, as you can tell, it's still beautiful. And don't worry, guys, the piano player isn't going anywhere. We were told, even with the renovations, he's still gonna stay. He will still be a staple of the Grand Floridian. I do miss the band though. Let me know in the comments if you're like me and you miss the band too. I miss them so much. Can we bring them back? Anyone to bring them back, guys? Again, it is so beautiful, even like this. But as you can tell, the colors a little muted. Um, and like I said, these little tiny touches aren't
aren't gonna be anything that I think are gonna make a huge difference. Just bringing it again to our century. Going back to the room and check out the giant doily. These are supposedly in like history, um, back in the day, these things were very, very expensive antique handmade and a big, big thing as a popular wedding gift item. Um, they could be super expensive. We're talking thousands of dollars worth, something like that. If it is antique, could be tens of thousands of dollars worth. Let me know if you know about that in the comments. Again, something I learned from my mom. Pretty cool. Who would have thought? Giant doily. Giant doily. Oh, I just absolutely love the piano player so much. And we'll bring you live to watch him one of these days too and get the full effect and fun. All right, we're going back to the room because it's so beautiful. We want to hang out there, eat dinner in there too. We brought food that um, we'll just hang out and watch uh, the water pageant from there as well. We'll check out the fireworks from here. I'm so excited. And this is definitely the building you want to be in to watch the water pageant. Wait till you see the views from here. All right, how amazing is everything here? All right, before we go, let's do one last walk through. Oh no, oh, every time I walk in here, I'm like, this is amazing. This is amazing. How beautiful. Again, type in the comments, let me know. What do you think of this? Are you now maybe okay about the remodeling of the Grand Floridian? Now seeing this as a comparison, I think I am. At first I was like, uh-uh, don't do it. No, no, Disney do it. At least my, my opinion. But let me know in the comments. There's no right or wrong answer. I would love to know. And make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. We have so many cool vlogs to come this week, live streams and more. And make sure to follow us on social media and all of our different viral accounts. Instagram, TikTok, you name it, never a dull moment, anywhere there's LBB. And if you haven't already, make sure to answer in the comments, what is your favorite part in the Mary Poppins movie? And then you'll be entered to win a shirt from Shop LBB, like the one I'm wearing, our Alice in Wonderland one. Again, the Grand Floridian has a ton of Alice related material around, so I thought it was appropriate. But next time I'm bringing the Jolly Holiday shirt, for sure, yes, yes. I think this room is magnificent. Again, I can't thank ND Carey enough. Everything from the lamps, to the artwork, to the spaciousness, to the view, to the lighting, to the chandelier, like everything feels like magic. I am absolutely in love. Can we live here? Producer Ash and I an option? <laughs> can we, we could sell our house if we could just live in the hotels. But if I had to live in a hotel, I'm not gonna lie, now I'm starting to rethink. Is it, I always thought it would be Fort Wilderness, um, but now I'm kind of like, mm, I'm feeling grand, that's for sure. And with that view, guys, definitely grand. Gorgeous. <gasps> and there's the monorail. I love, again, all of the beautiful details in what would be a simple view, but still not so simple. And here on LBV TV, we never say goodbye, because Walt Disney and Mickey never say goodbye. They always said, see you real soon, because they knew when there's magic and grand things, the fun never ends. So here on LBV TV, it's only see you real soon.